Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the same boy emulator on your iPhone. It's really simple to do, allows you to play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. This video is for educational purposes only, this video does not condone piracy. So with that out of the way, let's go to the App Store, go to your search, and search for same boy. We're going to go to same boy, install it. And now we're pretty much all ready to go. The one last thing I want to show you, if we go to files and I've already downloaded my ROM files, I can't show you where to get, you know, games from for legal reasons, but it's not hard to find. If you just Google it, you, know, you should be able to find it. As always, if you just have some questions about anything that we've covered in the video, feel free to ask down in the comments. So if I go to on my iPhone, I downloaded it in Chrome. I have the Tetris game, so .zip file. If I click it, it unzips it. So it needs to be in the .gb format. If it's like a .7-zip, you can rename that to .zip and unzip. If it's like a .raw, you'll need some other utility like, like iZip from the App Store. Again, I'll follow just mention in case you have one in, in a slightly different format. That's what you'll need. Um, but that's it. Now, you don't really need to be organizing this because when it imports it into the emulator, it copies it over. And because the games are so small anyway, it's not that big of an issue. They're literally kilobytes. So if I open up Same Boy, and I think I already had it running, so I'm going to. Yes, this is just loading the last game that I had. Uh, well, you know what I'll do? I will delete it. So I have a fresh copy. Such a lightweight app, it will take literally seconds to download. Okay, here we go. So now we can just tap the screen. We can click library to actually download, I mean, to play a game. But before that, let me show you, if we go to settings, the few settings that you might be interested in. In emulation, there's nothing really to mess around with. I recommend leaving it as default, unless there's a particular thing that you want to do, like rewind duration, but you don't need to mess with that most of the time. Video, again, you can leave this. In audio, just make sure you got accurate emulate hardware this is an interesting one enable audio so the main two that you'll probably want to deal with is controlled by silent mode or always if it's controlled by silent mode it basically means if your iphone is silent the audio no matter how loud the volume is it will not play it you will not hear it and if you have yards always it'll be dependent on the volume that you've set it to not the silent mode okay that's just something to note and in controls Again, you can do standard, like which is just D-pad, or you can do you know swipe as well. If you do want to do swipe, I prefer standard. And you can do in single touch A and B, at least so you can press both at the same time. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, from the most part, you know, you want to leave this as default. Feel free to have a look. I like swipe to save and load from slot one. Again, I'm just going to leave that as is. You can click configure game controllers, but this won't work because unless you have a controller connected, which I'll have a separate video covering, I'm getting a call come in. I'm just going to cancel that. So unless you have a controller connected, which I'll cover in a separate video, it won't work. So if we go back to settings and in themes, you can select your theme now, like light to dark, anything else is paid. So if you do want to support them, if you want like the gorgeous green one, and you would just click the screen and say support Game Boy to unlock, and you have to do a monthly subscription. It's unfortunate that you can't just buy one on its own, which is a shame, um, but if you just click that and click exit preview, you can go back and that's it. We're ready to launch our game. Click this. And the one last thing I want to show you is model. So you can choose the model by default, it would be Game Boy Color. You can do Game Boy for like gray and uh, black and white. You can do you know Game Boy Park if you want to emulate that. Super Game Boy, which was the SNES attachment, Game Boy Color, which is what I'm doing, or Game Boy Advance. I'll leave it as color. But see right here it says changing the emulator model. We will reset the emulator. So if you're in the middle of a game, don't because you can change it mid-game, but you'll reset the emulator, you'll reload it. So just bear that in mind. So if you click that and I go to library, go to import ROM files, if I click browse on my iPhone, Chrome, select the 
.gb file, click open. You can now delete that original file. If I show you, you can download, you can delete the original file from here because it is now in here. Just something to bear in mind. I've got it on silent mode so you won't hear any audio. Just let the game load up and let me just have a little quick go. Ooh, almost messed up there. Okay, that's it. So if I click the screen, it will pause it. And now you can also, you know, save and load states. And so let me show you that. If I go to states, if I go to save state one, that's now saved. If I was to, you know, close the emulator down, and launch up same boy and if i go to do, 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 if i click reset it's reloading it so if i've re if i've gone out of the game you know come back into it from another game but i've used the state if i click the screen so you have to click this you know the the, the virtual screen and you go to states and if i click slot one and click load state it will literally take me to where i was before, so well, that's great. It means you're you know, re not reliant on the built-in save method. You can save wherever you want and just keep reloading. So that's it, that's how you set up the same boy emulator on your iPhone. This also works for iPad as well. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.